Here we are again for day six of the 12 days of live, supporting you in, hey Kristen, supporting you in anchoring in even more light. And today I want to explain things from a physiologic perspective because I'm really here to bridge science and spirituality. I, I got my medical degree for a reason. <laughs> so nice to see you here. And I got my medical degree for a reason and I really want mainstream society to understand that spirituality is not woo-woo. It's actually science. And that we there are actual things in our body that show us that we are light beings. And one such thing is that we, and this is just proof based on us living on the earth and what we know from science in our bodies. So the first thing is we live on planet earth. Any creature that lives on planet earth is guided by the sun and fed by the light of the sun. Hi, Andrea, Dr. Andrea, so nice to see you here. So because of this, because the sun is like the mother energy for all of plant life. And we see that with photosynthesis, right? Like the photons come, then there's photosynthesis and the food makes, the food is made by plants for us to eat. And we're basically eating the sun through the plants. So we are light beings. We need that light in order to live and survive. And the animals are doing that too. And then if we eat animals, then the same thing, we're eating the light of the sun through the animals. The next thing that's proof that we are light beings is our skin and us making vitamin D. And the reason why is because vitamin D is the best source. Like we can't really get it from anywhere else but our skin. We can take supplements, but where we really make it is when the UV light of the sun goes onto our skin and it's created. And what we're finding more and more is a lot of disease in the body is created by deficient vitamin D levels. And a lot of deficient vitamin D is happening because people are not spending that much time outside. It's rare, like unless you're living in a major city, but still there's tall buildings. People are not spending more than like maybe an hour <clears throat> in the sun a day. And it's really sad because our health is dependent upon the sun. They even did studies where they put people underneath the earth so they would be without sunlight. And not only did they have mental health problems after, such as depression, but they also saw issues in the body. Some disease developed. So when we are deprived of sunlight, of light, we get sick. And it's known and it's proven and it's shown. The other way we know that we're a light beings is our circadian rhythm. And we have a pineal and pituitary gland that receives sunlight through our eyes, the photons, <clears throat> and it regulates our rhythm. So this is why we wake with the sun and we go to sleep when it gets dark, because when there's sun, we inhibit melatonin production. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm a little bit getting over something. And so when that those photons come in and the melatonin is produced, then it regulates our sleep and our wake cycle. So just the fact that our body goes into a rhythm connected to the light of the sun, this is proven by modern medicine. We know this to be true. But we also know it from Eastern medicine. And so with Eastern medicine, like Chinese medicine, we have meridians in the body and the meridians in the body are like the highway lines in the body that run the energy, that run the electricity, that run the circuits of energy to feed our organs. And the same is true for like in Ayurveda, there's chakras, energy centers in the body here, here. These are the major ones here, the heart, the solar plexus, the sacrum, and the root. And, it's, and this is also the place where our light body plugs into our physical body to feed our organs. So every single energy center is connected to organs in your body. So anytime your light is dim, your energy, you can imagine it's like a dial 
when your light is bright and strong and shining, it's like the dial of your energy center is turned up and your organs are fed really well and they operate really well. And when they're not, when your light is not, it's dimmed, it's clogged up, right? That's what creates diseases when energy is clogged and it's not flowing properly. That's the root at the energetic level of what's happening. So when there's a deficiency of your light energy or there's a blockage of it, this is what creates physiologic disease. Because your energy is the blueprint of everything. That's what comes first. And before things manifest in the physical body, it's in your aura. So your aura is a light ball that's literally around you. And guess what? Now we have cameras. There are aura cameras. And if you've ever been to a spiritual party or a conscious party or some festival or conference, you'll find there's booths and stations now. And this was created, I believe, in Russia. And this camera can now see your aura. Isn't that amazing? So there's proof. Like you walk around, you are like the sun. And you get to be like the sun. And it is my deepest desire in service of humanity that everyone takes care of their energy and their light, just like you brush your teeth, just like you wash your body. This is energy hygiene. And when you start to really think about your energy, this is when your whole life starts to change because what's happening on the inside is what gets projected and manifested and created on the outside. So, and I used to call myself an energy strategist because when I work with clients and in all of my codes and courses, the foundation of all of my teachings and all of my work is energy work. Not only giving energy work, but showing you how to run your light through your body, through certain meridians and channels. So it's not just about bringing in more light, but it's also about empowering you to optimize how your body is running as it integrates that light. And this is what's so powerful about this work. So these 12 days of lives are meant to empower you to really embody the knowing that you're a being of light. And each day is meant to empower you on how to amplify, purify, magnetize, grow your energy, anchor it, grow your light so you can be magnetic to all of your desires so that your health can improve, your love, your life, your business, every aspect of life because everything is ruled by your light and your energy. And so with that, I send you so much love. Thank you for tuning in today and I will see you next time tomorrow for day seven of our seven days of lives. I should say our seven days of light. When I saying seven days, 12 days, 12 days of light. All right, thank you so much for being here. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.